You're saying you're our daughter. From the future. Yep, kinda stuck here now. Anybody know what to do? I made a big mistake. This man is hiding in the shadows. You guys beat him. At least you were supposed to. Because the timeline changed. I need to know. In the future, what happens to me? The Flash. All new episodes Tuesday, October 9th on The CW. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be breaking down the new trailer for The Flash Season 5 and also they released a new photo and they released some other pieces of information online via TV line. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So as per usual, I missed the trailer. It was last night when I was asleep because obviously they always release it really late in American time. Time, so I never actually get round to doing it so that's why it's a day late I'm very very sorry about that so anyway let's break down this trailer and then we'll go over the new news and the new photo the first shot of the trailer as we go by the trailer shot by shot we get to see Nora in the speed lab as she's running around and Barry's observing her obviously this is just to show that she is a speedster as the trailer starts we get to see that interaction that we saw at the end of season 4 with Barry and Nora meeting for the first time and obviously Iris and everyone and Joe. I love Cisco's expression, it is fabulous. It's exactly what everyone would be thinking at that current time, it's brilliant. And now moving on to the next bit, this part is probably the most interesting part of the entire trailer and Nora uses some sort of purple shine, maybe it's her flash ring, something like that. I think it might have a link to maybe Gideon, due to the fact of her being from the future. This is definitely future tech and she is projecting something to where the screen where the newspaper actually is so maybe this is a bypass or something like that but then we get to see in the next scene Barry's looking really sad I think I do see a tear here on Barry's eye I'm not entirely sure it kind of looks like it but he's very sad nevertheless and I do in fact think that with what happens at the end of the trailer which we'll go over in a minute something happens to them in the future due to Nora changing the timeline so I think this is Nora actually revealing and this is where I think that in fact either Barry or Iris has in fact died in the future. So there's reasons as to why it could be Iris and there's reasons as to why it could be Barry but in my opinion I think it possibly could be Barry, that's what happens in the comics and the evidence that backs up the fact that it could be Iris that in fact dies due to what Nora's done time traveling is due to what she says later in the trailer and she says well you're supposed to stop him in reference to Cicada, who we will talk about in a minute because he's featured quite a lot in this trailer, and also the evidence that backs up for Iris potentially dying is in fact that Barry would be getting so emotional. I do think he'll get emotional either way, but I think if it were to be Iris, he would actually cry. He looks extremely sad right there, so it could go either way. My first initial thoughts was that it was Barry because at the end of the trailer he says, what happens to me in the future so we'll have to wait and see as to what she shows him but something massive has changed and I think it could be a death in regards to Iris or Barry so moving on to the cicada stuff so now the next shot is of Joe it looks like he's in his house and you get to see flipping cicada behind him when I watch this I think I screamed like because I love Joe yeah he hasn't done much the last few seasons but him as a character I just like having Joe around and you can see in the background Cicada is right there in the house I'm supposing this is all real he's targeting everyone that has been touched by the Flash that has worked with the Flash anything like that he is in fact going to potentially kill Joe I don't think he will but you know he's in the house that's kind of crazy so we get a shot of Barry in his old suit as he's in the water, unsure why he's doing that, I think maybe he stopped something, I think maybe it's after he stopped the plane from crashing that we've seen in the trailers. Then the next shot is a rather ominous shot of some eyes, I can't identify the eyes, it could be Cicada, it could be someone else, I have no idea, but they're looking very menacing. Then there's a shot inside a hall, 
and in fact this looks like potentially it could be Cicada due to his figure but we'll have to wait and see and a main focus of this trailer and a focus of the season is going to be to do with like shadows and being in the dark and the way that Cicada is actually going to take on our team is going to affect them in a much different way according to the executive producer than any of the other villains have in the past. I think this will be more of a hardcore sort of like even darker than zoom hopefully i really really do like zoom i think zoom's like the pinnacle of how good the flash villains can get and also the original reverse flash so i'm hoping cicada actually holds it up for the entire season unlike what the thinker did i didn't think he was a very good villain so in the next shot we get to see iris as she's looking on a videotape and it seems like there's fire all around and it's some sort of fight of sorts but i can't make out anything on there so We'll have to wait and see until the episode when we get more context, but yeah, for now, I don't know what's on the screen. And so, this is like the one worrying part of the trailer for me, and you get to see a shot of Cicada as he is actually in fact shirtless. I really don't hope we find out his full identity, you know, things like that early on in episode one like we did with the Think. I hope it's a more of a slow burn, you know, how it's been in the past with Reverse Flash, Zoom, and Savitar, we've had mystery. Last season, we had none of that in regards to the big bad, so hopefully Cicada has some mystery behind him, and I don't want them to actually reveal anything too early. So, now we move on to the scene that I mentioned earlier with Nora, as she talks about how they were supposed to stop Cicada. I'm guessing it's Cicada that she's talking about, but the timeline has changed due to her time traveling, and obviously, in fact, they don't actually stop Cicada and maybe this is why Barry or Iris in the future has ended up dead because Cicada reigns on. So with her meddling with the timeline, everything has changed and Nora's going to have to help stop these villains, whoever are going to be popping up every now and again, and also stopping Cicada. So you get to see a very blurred shot of Cicada as he seems to be near fire, don't know what is happening there. But we go back to the shot of Barry getting the flash ring which was featured in the last trailer at Comic Con and moving on from that we get to see Nora as she looks at a photo frame from back in season 1 with all our original cast members as she turns around to see Barry and Barry asks what I said earlier I need to know what happens to me in the future so I'm just paraphrasing there but that is a massive thing that is what leads me to think that it could be Barry that dies in the future and then in fact Barry is told by Nora as her poker face is bad as we saw in the last trailer and she goes to the newspaper article room and she shows what happens in the future and that is when Barry gets all emotional so either way I think someone's gonna die in the future a main character so the final thing that I want to talk about isn't to do with the trailer it's to do with this new photo we just got a nice TV line exclusive photo of the West Allen family excluding Joe obviously and Wally and everyone else but you know the small little aspect of the West family and it's just a nice photo I think it really captures the family aspect of what they're going for I do hope in fact this season is a lot darker I think Cicada is gonna be dark last season it it was just all over the place. I prefer it on the dark side if I'm to be honest to you guys. So final thing is the information that TV Line has and I've mentioned some of it already in this. A quote from the executive producer was that in regards to Cicada, he says, his endgame isn't about the Flash, it's more of a bigger scale issue. I think this is to do with all metahumans, because in the comics, Cicada tries to kill all the metahumans that have been touched by the Flash, tries to kill anyone that has been touched, whether they're metahumans or not actually. And so Barry and everyone will be impacted by him a lot, and a big part of the season is about the metas and where they get their powers from, and it's tied into everybody's journey this year, according to the executive producer. Cicada's powers are different than DeVoe's, and any of the speedsters, in any way, they affect our team. So, obviously, this is a teaser for his powers. We don't really know what to expect, apart from him having a lightning bolt dagger. So, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shine.